Hello and welcome to the tutorial on negative numbers. Negative numbers. Now before we begin we should state here that you can call them negative numbers another name for them is minus minus numbers. So you can say negative numbers or minus numbers. Now how do we explain this? Well we're going to start with our number line Here it is, it goes to the left over here and to the right over here. In the center, we're going to write down 0. Now to the right of the number line is what we've done before. The number's going from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to stop here. You can carry on, but we're going to stop at 5. So suppose the weatherman, you're outside and the weatherman has told you that it's going to be a slightly cool, degree, uh, cool day and says it's going to be 3 degrees Celsius. Now what does 3 degrees Celsius look like on the number line? Well, we know this from before. It is over here. That is 3 degrees. So that is today. However, tomorrow is going to be much much colder and the weatherman has said it's going to be minus 2. Now what does minus 2 mean? Well minus 2 we write on the left hand side to the left and I'm doing it here in red minus 1. Do you see that on the left of 0 is minus 1 then it's minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 now, as we said before, you can call these minus or negative. So you can say minus 1 or negative 1. You can say minus 2 or negative 2. So the weatherman has said that tomorrow it's going to be minus 2. Here is minus 2. So that is tomorrow. So tomorrow it's going to be minus 2. Now, which one is more? Is it 3? Or is it minus 2? Now don't forget, to the right of all the number lines, the number is larger. As you go further to the right, it is the number is larger. As you go to the left, the number is smaller. So therefore, 3 is greater than or larger than minus 2. Let's write that down over here. So we've got, and let's write it in the different colors, we've got 3, and let's write down minus 2. And we'll write the symbol in the middle, in yellow. Now, so we said 3 is greater than or larger than minus 2, and don't forget that is a symbol. The arrow is pointing to the smaller number, minus 2. Now let's suppose that we now look at two different numbers. So this time round, we are going to use the color blue. Actually, we're going to use the orangey-brown one. And this time, let's suppose that the weatherman has said that it's going to be 2. We're looking at next week, and let's say it's going to be 2 on Monday. I'm just going to write down M-O-N for Monday. But on Tuesday, it's going to be minus 5. So therefore, Tuesday, it's going to be minus 5. So now we've got minus 2. Sorry, we've got 2. And the other number we've got is minus 5. Now, which one do you think is larger? Is it 2 or minus 5? Now, you should know this from the what we've written in blue over here. The number 2 is larger than minus 5. Even though you've got a 5 over here, 2 is greater than 5. There is 2. There is minus 5. So, 2 is greater than, or you can say larger than, 
minus 5. So that is the introduction to negative or minus numbers. There's just one final point we want to make. On the left hand side we've got all the minus is over here. So you've got minus or negative as you can say. On the right hand side we don't put anything. We don't put, we don't put minus but we don't put plus either. But technically it is a plus. But for shorthand we don't write it down. So you can actually say on the right hand side it is plus 1 or positive 1, plus 2 or positive 2. But for shorthand we just simply say it's 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. On the left hand side we have to specify the fact that it is minus and it is different from those on the right hand side.